Some of the facts you know might just be lies told throughout history. From false stories to professional scammers, these historical lies have been told so often that we cannot help but believe them. If you think you know a thing or two about history, then we have some facts to tell you. You might be surprised to know just how believable some of these lies sound. To clear some of the confusion, here are the 10 biggest lies told in history. Number 10. The Great Wall of China People estimate that the length of Great Wall of China would be up to about 5,000 miles. However, a recent archaeological survey suggests that the wall is more than double of the estimate we make. The Great Wall has a length of approximately 13,000 miles and was built over a period of 200 years in total. When you think of a wall that huge, you probably believe that it could be seen from space. While it may be cool to spot the Great Wall from space, NASA debunked this space-based myth recently. It doesn't matter how many people tell you that the Great Wall of China is the only object visible from space, because it's still a lie. You cannot see the Great Wall of China with the naked eye in low Earth orbit, and you certainly cannot see it from the moon. This great myth was debunked when a Chinese astronaut, Yang Liwei, was surprised when he couldn't see the magnificent structure from space. Maybe it's time that we start rewriting all these textbooks that tell this lie. Number 9. Columbus Day why do we celebrate Columbus Day? If you answered that it's because Christopher Columbus discovered America, here are some facts that might ruin your day. Columbus went on four separate trips across the world. During this time, he ended up in multiple Caribbean islands that we now know as the Bahamas and the Hispaniolas. After the Caribbean, Columbus made his way to the central South American coast too. However, North America was already inhabited by Native Americans during this time. Since people were already living there, it would be impossible for Columbus to actually discover America. In fact, some accounts reveal that Columbus was lost when he was on the American coast, thinking that he was in India. He never even believed that he had found a whole new continent. It's just another lie history books continue to tell us. While our beloved Christopher Columbus did not find America all on his own, he did inspire centuries worth of exploration in the American continent. Number 8. The Trojan Horse Everyone has heard the story of the Trojan Horse. It was the iconic wooden horse used by the Greek warriors during the Trojan War when they tried to capture the city of Troy. The story was first mentioned in the Odyssey, which painted the picture of the Trojan Horse as a victorious element. People believed that the Greek soldiers were actually hiding in this giant Trojan Horse and emerged out to win the Trojan War. As cool as that may sound, the story is yet another lie told in history. Researchers at Oxford University state that there is archaeological evidence present to support that the city of Troy was burned down, but there is no evidence about the Trojan Horse. They say that the wooden horse story is just another imaginative fable added to the Greek story of victory. Maybe it was inspired by how the siege engines in that era were covered by damp horse hides, but we may never know for sure. Not only is the story of the Trojan Horse a lie, but there's also questions regarding the existence of the man who wrote the Odyssey. The Greek consider Homer as one of their epic poets, but some evidence suggests that he never actually wrote the book. The entire story was an oral composition that became a verbal tradition being passed on for centuries, possibly being twisted and turned all along the way. Number 7. Pyramids and Slaves do you really believe that slaves built the pyramids? Like many other things that we think we know, this is just another blatant lie. It wasn't possible for slaves to build such a magnificent structure like the pyramids. After all, the workers who built them needed good sustenance and health to work tirelessly on the pyramids. Archaeologists have recently discovered the remains of a whole purpose-built village from about 4,000 years ago, especially made for the people who constructed the Giza pyramids. Amongst the evidence found in these remains were ancient stamps and seals. Officials of that time actually kept track of the workers who built the pyramids, gave them proper housing facilities, and great food. They were actually being fed some of the best meat along with the bread to ensure that they had the strength to build the pyramids of Giza. Slaves are not treated nearly as good as this. So another popular myth debunked. The pyramids are definitely not the result of slave cruelty. Number 6. George Washington and the Cherry Tree When Washington died, everyone wanted to know about his iconic life. People wanted to know more about his moral and ethical values, and even his relationship with his family. 
While Washington himself did not leave an autobiography for us to read, one of the first writers to publish a biography on the Washington was a man named Mason Locke Weems. In this book, the iconic story of the cherry tree was, was told. It's said that when Washington was only six years old, his father gifted him a hatchet. Washington accidentally damaged his father's beloved cherry tree with a hatchet and was confronted by his father about the incident. Even though Washington's father was angry, six-year-old Washington was still brave enough to tell the truth, and in fact, his exact words were, I cannot tell a lie. I did cut it with my hatchet. Washington's father forgave him for the incident and said that honesty was worth more than a thousand cherry trees. As much as we'd like to believe the story of virtue and honesty, there is no evidence to prove that it's true. Washington's father died when he was only 11 years old, so very little is documented about the father-son relationship. Number five. Loch Ness Monster. The story of the Loch Ness Monster is what made everyone believe that monsters could be real too. A local newspaper in 1933 told the infamous story of how a businessman and his wife encountered a tremendous upheaval as they drove along the northern shore of Loch Ness. The couple stopped their car and observed the creature. They described the monster as being similar to a whale, but it sent out enormous waves in the water as it stood up. The couple waited for 30 more minutes for the monster to come to the surface again. While the monster never returned, the great myth about the Loch Ness Monster became popular. People from all across the world became obsessed to search for the dinosaur-like creature. Some even provided photographs as proof, but they were all either edited or fake. Others tried to recreate the Loch Ness Monster through art, and the media sensation was featured 55 times in the New York Times newspaper over the next two years. The most popular photograph of the Loch Ness Monster was taken by Robert Wilson, showing a creature half underwater with a long neck and pointed face. While people initially believed the photo was real, it was eventually proven to be yet another hoax. Number four, Vikings wearing horned helmets. When you search for an image of Vikings, you will notice each one wearing a horned helmet. This imagery has become the icon of the Vikings, with football mascots and cartoons promoting it even further. However, the Vikings never wore horned helmets at all. The myth of Vikings wearing horned helmets began with a costume designer, Carl Emil Doppler, who was the first to feature these iconic headpieces in an 1876 performance of During des Nibelungen, a classic Norse saga. As thousands of people saw this performance in the opera, people quickly believed that the Vikings actually wore horned helmets in real life. Wearing horned helmets does not make a lot of sense either. They cannot be used as spears or swords. So why would the Vikings wear them in a war? In fact, some evidence suggests that the Vikings did not wear any helmets at all, since only a few of them have been found years later. Number 3. Victor Lustig Selling the Eiffel Tower If you've ever searched for the biggest con artist in history, you must have heard of Victor Lustig. This Austrian con artist took on multiple identities and traveled across many countries to sell his lies to other people. One of the lies that he was actually able to monetize was selling the Eiffel Tower. If someone told you that you could buy the Eiffel Tower, would you believe them? You'd probably say no, but an insecure businessman in the 1920s named André Poisson actually said yes. Lustig was able to sell the Eiffel Tower to Poisson for thousands of dollars and successfully fled the scene as soon as the deal was finalized. Lustig claimed that he was selling the Eiffel Tower to the highest bidder due to engineering faults, costly repairs, and political problems. Audiences in that time were quite gullible to believe that someone could actually sell the Eiffel Tower's deed to them. While Lustig was able to fool people in the 1920s, he cannot fool us today. Lustig did not actually sell the Eiffel Tower to anyone, he was only a smart con artist trying to make a good deal. Number two, Thomas Edison did not invent the light bulb. The first thing that we learned in grade school was that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. It's a particularly useful invention because our world would be full of darkness if we didn't have Edison inventing the light bulb for us. However, Edison was not the one who invented the world's first light bulb. By the time Edison began his work on the light bulb, the first form of the light bulb had already been invented by an Englishman named Humphrey Davy in 1806. Davy's electric lamp burned out quickly, so many changes had to be made to the first light bulb for the invention to actually work. All Edison did was improve the light bulb. He worked on building an incandescent lighting system with separate components, including the generator and distribution system. He also developed a high-resistance filament that lights up without destroying the entire bulb. 
With his team of skilled inventors, Edison was able to improve Davy's light bulb and create a more economical version to light up large areas. Since inventions were fairly common around the time, people just started believing that it was Edison who invented the light bulb, even though he didn't. Number 1. Albert Einstein and Mathematics If Albert Einstein was such a genius, why would he fail math as a young student? Contrary to popular belief, Einstein did not fail mathematics in his childhood. He was actually an exceptional student with high grades, but had an ambition to discover more regarding the mathematical discipline that was enforced by his teachers. While Einstein did leave school at the age of 15, he was always a bright student before that who never failed any classes. This lie was actually debunked by Einstein himself. When someone showed him an article that claimed that Einstein failed grade school mathematics, the genius was quick to defend himself by stating he had already mastered integral and differential calculus before the age of 15. Now that you know the top 10 biggest lies in history, remember to always do a fact check before you believe anything. Perhaps everything that we have heard about history over the years is nothing but a lie.